This video is brought to you by my free book, Digital Flying. Learn how I use the iPad in the cockpit, which apps I use, and how I do it inside the book, Digital Flying. Visit digitalflying.com to download your free copy of the book today. Hey everyone, Jason Schaffer here of M0A.com. Video two now of our three-part series, uh, really showing you how I'm flying nowadays with the iPad in the cockpit. In this one, I wanna show you the flight planning process. In the previous video, we really talked about looking over weather a few days out, making that smart go or no-go decision, even two, three days out from actually uh, flying. But let's say, hey, the weather's good now, we're actually gonna be able to partake in that flight, and I wanna show you how I'm flying flight planning now the night before the day of that actual flight. So we'll come up to the iPad here. Again, I'm using AOPA's FlyQ app, really a fall in love with it for a lot of reasons. Um, we land on the map, again, we can see the weather, not so hot maybe uh, in our case here. Uh, we're gonna click down uh, the bottom middle button there where you see plans. So we're clicking on plans and we wanna create a new flight plan. So we can go from X-Ray 35, uh, let's head up to Gainesville. So to Gainesville, all that looks good, uh, no waypoints. This is something I really like. How many times have you called uh, the flight service station and they want the time in Zulu and everything else? And listen, I may have 8,000 flight hours, but I am not a Zulu time expert by any means. I'm still counting on my, you know, my fingers and my toes. So it's real nice to go, hey, today at um, you know, 1.45, I'm gonna be flying. And it does all the conversion stuff. Um, for me. So we're going to be VOR, and this is something else I like here too for my IFR guys. Um, you could base it on wind and fuel, best route for that. Uh, Victor Airways, uh, we're, in this case we're just going to go GPS direct, so we've got all that set in there, and optimize for best wind. I like to leave that feature on, and, and I'll show you why here in a second. We're going to create that flight plan, give it just a second here, and it is going to choose altitude for me based on winds. Now it has no idea you know, ceilings, that sort of stuff. It, it can't help me there just yet. I'm sure that's something they could work on in the future here. But for now, it's optimizing for best wind. So uh, you can see in this case, they have me at 2,000 feet. Well, I'm gonna click on wind optimizer and it's gonna show me why here. Well, because it's showing me how much fuel I'm gonna burn, how long it's going to take me. Basically, the lower I stay, the faster I'm gonna travel and the less fuel I'm gonna burn. But let's say, listen, I'm really not comfortable flying at 2,000 feet. Um, I'll take the extra minute and I wanna bump it up to 3,500 feet. So I'm gonna go ahead and change that. And it does that for me. And then accordingly, adjusts my flight plan as well, showing the distances, uh, my ground speed, my fuel remaining. And again, I've already prearranged everything in there with my, uh, with my airplane with myself um, in there so I can see that sort of stuff. So um, really nice from that aspect. Um, let's say uh, you wanna actually file it. If you have your Duots account in there, uh, you can set that up. Um, I still like to call people on the phone. I know it's very uh, old school, but I like talking to that weather briefer and getting really another perspective. So I'll click on FAA plan, let that come up, and listen, this is in the exact order. I'm gonna give it to them, you know, on the phone. Hey, this is November 512 Romeo, VFR flight plan. I'm on a Cessna 150 slash uniform, traveling at 107 knots. And this is literally verbatim in the order what I'm actually going to be giving them. So really neat stuff, uh, you know, along those lines as well. Of course, you can print this out, you can email it to yourself, uh, you can take a look at it, uh, you know, how it's actually gonna look. Um, you know, map wise and really see all that stuff there. So really, really cool from a flight planning standpoint. So now what we're gonna do again, this is video two of a three part series. In video three, we're gonna fly this and I'm gonna show you guys how we kind of do some diversions on the fly and some great features um, and really how we use that iPad as a tool in the cockpit. So that'll be in the next video. So stay tuned and look out for that. And most importantly, guys, remember, that a good pilot is always learning. Have a great day, guys. See ya.